Hey, today I've got myself a socket and some screws. Let's see where they go. Why wouldn't we? Let's see what we can get into with Life with Bills' YouTube channel. All right, so I just finished giving my push rods a quick little clean up. So there they are there. So now all we gotta do is just blow them up because look, they're full of oil stuff. I wanna make sure they're flowing. You gotta make sure your push rods are flowing, you do. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take the air and we're gonna blow out the holes. One, two. Well, they don't count right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, forty, fifty, sixty. Sixteen is what we need. So now that we've done that, pull this rocker arm thing back off, and we can slip the friggin' push rods down in. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh yeah. The beauty, ain't you? Yeah. You can feel me pushing down the old lifters into the right position, and there we go. So they're in. I'll give you close up and personal. Here, I'll even give you a light, because that's why I roll. There you go. Careful. Decent. One, two. There we go. Now what I'm gonna do, because I can, I'm gonna put a little bit of oil right down the shaft of Ruski. And I have to say, no, no, that's accurate. You know, it's probably not gonna make her down there too far. But hey, clear nothing. Do the other side, but you can't see. There we go. Now I'm gonna blow out the holes for the rocker bolts. Decent. Decent. We're giving you all the good angles of the dangles today. So we'll slap these on here like so. Now, like I said, I'm going to Loctite my bolts. I don't care what anybody says, that's what I'm doing. I'm just gonna put a little dab, a little dab will do you. Let's get her lined up here. There she is. It's all on how you hold your tongue. We'll do this end one so everything's lined up. There we go. Little dab. There we go. Actually, you know what I should be doing too? Just making sure that's clear. Shit. <laughs> gotta make sure that's clear out too. I forgot to do that, so we're gonna have to go back and take the other ones we started out and check them. Which shouldn't take long. Oh, I'm glad I checked that one. Pretty sure she was plugged, Captain. There we go. So we'll get the other ones ready to go here, and then we'll torque them down. These, all these rockers are 22 foot pounds of torque, they are. So we'll take them down to 22. Now what they're saying to do at 22, you torque them all 22, turn the engine 180, and torque them again at 22. And you can turn it again too if you want, and torque it again at 22. Just to make sure, you know, when the valves are open and closed, you're still getting the proper torque specs on them. So we'll go along here and we'll torque them all at 22, and then we'll see what we do when we turn her. Captain, 22, 22. Now when you're doing this, I would uh, suggest making sure she's in the middle of the, I know it'll probably set itself, but I'm just gonna make sure it's in the middle anyways, because that's the way I roll. Pretty picky that way. There we go, 22, 22. Here's another one, see? The ones that are like this are the ones where you're collapsing the spring and opening the valve. That's why they say, you can normally just crank on, torque them all to 22 and you're good to go. But uh, I'm still gonna rotate the engine and do her again. That makes me feel better, it does. You hear this one's closing the valve, or opening the valve, sorry. 22, 22, 22. Closing a valve, or opening a valve, sorry, 22. 22, opening a valve, 22, opening a valve, 22, 22. There we go, now, now we're gonna rotate the engine and uh, do it again. And hopefully you've seen that because the camera's cocked way up in the air. So I'll rotate the engine. As you can see, the rockers are moving. All of them are moving very well, actually. So now we'll do it again. One more time for good measures. I gotta get a new bolt for that, Captain. There we go. So that's all there is to put the rocker arms back on. An LS, which is very easy, actually. I was surprised how easy this is. But I'm gonna clean my hands off real quick and we'll put the valve covers on. Because uh, we wanna see how they look, we do. Plus we wanna seal in all the good stuff. 
Now I do have new gaskets for these. I'm not going to install them yet. I just want to cover them up to keep them clean. Captain. Next. Hey, next. These ones haven't even got a gasket in right now. They're over there rolled up. I should probably get them out and let them get a little uh, soft and soft. Yay. But hey, we got all the time in the world. What's really going on here? All right, so there you go. That's it. That's all. That's it. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and like and hit the notification bell bar button if you did. And someone commented last night, I can't remember who it was, but thank you for that. They commented about my boots. The actual boots are good. Sometimes you just, your brain doesn't think when you're recording, so you, you sometimes can miss shit or just get all stupid, right? But actually how the boots are supposed to go, they're supposed to go in like this, and you're supposed to slide it down. So basically you gotta bring them on and bring it down, and that actually stays on that side of the boot so the boot don't get burnt. The boot's not supposed to actually go through the end of the plug wire. It's just supposed to go to it. And these will work. It's just I'm going to have to play with them to get them on. But I'm going to play with this one to get it on for you so I can show you. Because that's what I do on the dirty old bills. So I like to show you. Hey, why wouldn't I? Captain? Can you stop handling the wieners for one second? Almost there, Jim. Oh, yeah, we are. I'm an idiot. I can't believe I didn't do that, bud. Thank you for commenting, by the way. That's great because I was just stupid. So that's how they're supposed to go. See? So there's a plug in that goes between the doodad and whatnot. So these were absolutely mint. There you go. Thanks for leaving your comment. See, if it's not for those comments, I wouldn't, fi I wouldn't figure shit out. I just think they're the wrong ones. But those are the right ones. I appreciate it big time. We found these cocks. Friggin' right. So I didn't waste my money after all. So there you go, hey? Eh? Love y'all. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. And uh, we'll have more to come soon, we will. Probably right after Christmas, we'll have more out of this stuff. Because like I said, I gotta get that on the ground first, but I can't. I gotta put the pan back on. We can do that together and stuff. What do you think? Freaking great again. Love y'all. Stay safe. Until next time, you know what to do for now.